Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has announced a new podcast deal with Lemonada Media after ending her partnership with Spotify last year. The former actress claims she wants to create art that matters and share her opinions with the world, but what she doesn't want to share is the truth about her family and her past. Meghan has been accused of lying and manipulating by her half-sister Samantha Markle, who has been vocal about her disappointment and anger towards the Duchess. Samantha, who shares the same father with Meghan, says that Meghan has misrepresented their relationship and portrayed herself as an only child who grew up in hardship. Samantha says that Meghan has ignored and insulted her and their father, Thomas Markle Sr., who has been estranged from Meghan since her wedding to Prince Harry in 2018. Samantha recently confronted Meghan in a phone call after learning about her new podcast deal. She told Meghan that she would never listen to her podcast and that she should stop lying to the public and to herself. Samantha also warned Meghan that she would expose her secrets and reveal the real Meghan Markle to the world. Samantha told us weekly that she was furious with Meghan for abandoning her family and for spreading false narratives about them. She said that Meghan was not an only child, but had two half-siblings and several nieces and nephews who loved her. She also said that Meghan did not have a difficult childhood, but enjoyed a privileged and comfortable life thanks to their father, who was a successful Hollywood lighting director. Samantha said that Meghan was ungrateful and selfish and that she had betrayed their father, who had supported her dreams and career. Samantha also criticized Meghan for her podcast deal with Lemonada Media, which she said was a hypocritical and opportunistic move. She said that Meghan had no credibility or talent as a podcast host, and that she was only using the platform to promote her agenda and image. She said that Meghan had no interest in creating meaningful or inspiring content, but only in boosting her ego and fame. She said that Meghan had no right to speak on behalf of women or minorities, as she had done nothing to help them or understand their struggles. Samantha said that she was not afraid of Meghan or her lawyers, and that she would not be silenced by her threats or intimidation. She said that she had evidence and witnesses to back up her claims and that she would not hesitate to share them with the media and the public. She said that she wanted to expose Meghan's lies and hypocrisy and to show the world who she really was. She said that she hoped that Meghan would wake up and realize the damage she had done to her family and to herself and that she would apologize and make amends. Samantha's phone call with Meghan, has sparked a new wave of controversy and backlash against the Duchess, who has already faced criticism and scrutiny for her actions and decisions since joining the royal family. Meghan has not responded to Samantha's allegations or comments and has continued to work on her podcast and other projects with her husband Prince Harry. The couple, who have two children, Archie and Lilibet, live in California, where they have signed lucrative deals with Netflix and other media companies. Meghan's new podcast is expected to launch later this year but it remains to be seen how many people will tune in to listen to her.